what he perhaps didn't realize is how much my move into social history was defined very, very much by <coughs> his, um, by the intellectual work with him. I always wanted to, when he said uh, everybody read XYZ, I wanted to know how many exactly who read it, what <laughs> class, how do you find class, and so forth. Um, so I went off and, and, and uh, did my dissertation, and then later on, in about 67, 68, when the revolution was getting hot in Madison, a um, uh, student popped up in class and said, we don't want to know about all these people. What about peasants? <laughs> and uh, uh, you need to talk about peasants. And George <laughs> said, you don't know anything about peasants. And he said, nobody knows anything about peasants. But I sent David Saving off to find out. <laughs> <laughs> and it was actually from there, across the Bodensee, that George escaped from Germany. So one day, during the late 1970s, when we were both in Munich, we decided, actually he decided, that we would drive down to Zala. And during the long drive, and George, if you've ever driven with George, well, he kept insisting that now finally I would see what a school was like. He said, Zalem built character. We were disciplined. We had to get up at five o'clock in the morning. We had to exercise. We had to shine our shoes and they expected them. We arrived and we parked and we were immediately confronted by a very stern looking woman who asked us what we wanted, and George was so nervous and so terrified that he couldn't speak. So I explained to her that he had been a student at Zalem and that we were, we were visiting the school and we would like to see some of the students, and she pointed us in the direction of a courtyard, and George said, now you'll see what it was like. And we did. Well, we didn't exactly see what it was like. We smelled what it was like because everybody was smoking pot. <laughs> and the Rolling Stones were blaring out of the window, a street fighting man. And George said, this is not how I remember it. <laughs> I started my PhD much later than everybody else. And until then, I had been working in, of all places, Zionist institutions for the education of youth leaders. I think that's one of the reasons George liked me, because he'd never met anybody like that. But anyway, in Israel, we have, in Israel we have the institution like no other country has. It is called the, the institution of the Besavisa. Everybody knows more than whoever is talking. So George was giving this talk on Weimar Germany, and he's talking away, and one of the guys, he must have been quite old, says, stands up and says, no, no, I was there, it was not at all like that. And George looked at him and said, you are in the valley, I'm on the mountain. <laughs>